they're going to go into different things all over the place. Inshallah, <laughs> <clears throat> thanking everybody online, all the, the wonderful comments, the support, mashallah, the, the sharing all over the Facebook, we see all the posts and everybody sharing, alhamdulillah. Everybody do, doing whatever they can and there's no reason for people not to support. Uh, support can be as easy as just sharing an article, sharing uh, one of the charity uh, products, you put it onto social media, sharing the videos, the shorts that are coming out, the wonderful work that everybody's doing and putting and put in producing, uh, sharing the Amazon link for the books, the website link, the SMC links for the book, for the products any way possible that we can be of service and khidmat and Allah dress everyone and bless everyone and give more himma and strength for all of us to continue and to, to reach the goals. If anybody is watching they should be seeing the signs everywhere for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi and the zulamat and darkness that coming upon this earth inshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi will the Dajjal control over the whole world? Yeah <laughs> the Dajjal is in control right now over the whole world <clears throat> but we don't have to worry about the whole world these types of questions direct us more towards we have to worry about myself that the question was good, thank you very much but I got to get you to think a different way. You know we're not here to think about the entire universe, what's going to happen is that we have to ask ourselves, is Dajjal going to rule over you? <clears throat> if you have your nafs and shaitan there then Dajjal has a door into you already. If you're listening to his guidance with bad character he's already there. Now is he going to seal the deal and take the person over? That's a matter of your ability to fight. So that's what's important right now is that are you able to sit and meditate? Are you able to be of service? Are you able to do these things to pray and to keep your faith? If you feel it's vanishing then Dajjal is there with you. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Because is vanishing where? There's only two sides on this game, there's no third. We told you one day the grey will be gone. We're entering into that day now, watch the news, see what they're doing everywhere, why are they doing what they're doing? They have to make war in that region, they are going to put their blood sacrifice, their qurbans, their nas so that to build their structures. So huge war is coming, there's no more grey. Either you're waiting for Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam or you're in the wind with Dajjal. There's no one who sits on the side and say, I'll, I'll, I'll hold this one out and thank you very much. It's either your faith is getting stronger and you're going to move towards Sayyidina Muhammad or you find yourself drift, drifting and then Dajjal is clever. You begin to drift and say, oh, you know, I don't really need to, to do the practices. Uh, and they begin to reason with everything and Dajjal will come and talk about Allah much, lot, lot about Allah. 
but nothing about Sayyidina Muhammad And people will find a, a gravity towards that, yeah but I think he's talking about Allah. So don't we have something in common? And many, many will. So this is the difficulty that being faced. That's exactly why the curriculum is not vague. We are Muhammadiyoon. So I don't know, our 15, 20 years of teaching, it's Muhammadiyoon. There's no if, and, but, or why, it's Muhammadiyoon. And that to mark yourself Muhammadiyoon, to live and die Muhammadiyoon. So the gray will vanish. And support comes with those whom are ashiqeen and believers will watch and see many horrific difficulties and destructions and people will say, well why is there no help for these people? Because their aqeedah is wrong. In the midst of all of these things, have you any, seen anyone screaming out to Prophet or for awliya? Not one, they don't have that belief. Well, what would have happened if they would have been screaming out for Prophet's madad and support and the support of unseen and the awliya and rijalullah? Allah would have brought fire from heavens upon people, but their faith is not there. So then believers will sit and watch how people and enter into immense difficulties because it's the result of their belief and the incorrect belief. And the correct belief is this immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah will prove that because Allah won't respond until the name of Prophet is brought. The name of awliya is brought, asking for rijalullah, asking for awliya, asking for the heavenly support so that the structure of the hukum and the government of the heavens is understood. Anyone outside of that system then very limited response and that's why the curriculum is very strong, very, very clear that the key to success and the key to this, this way is the immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad Why? They know it too, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But don't you think if the kingdom's coming you better call for the king? If they don't know how to call for the king then who's coming? InshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum ya Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah Can you help us understand a little of the reality of Imam Mahdi and Laylatul Qadr and also the reality of Jabal Kaf? Oh. <laughs> That's the summary of the whole tariqah. Can you tell me the secret of Ismail Husna? <laughs> I saw, I saw somebody post, yeah, he is, I'm going to teach you Allah's greatest name. And I mean, I don't know what he was saying, yeah, but yeah, it's not like that. And uh, the articles, we just described the reality of Sayyidina Mahdi is with good character to, to be Mahdeen, you know, to have, uh, uh, to be from the people of guidance. And that they have the Muhammadan love is the one that teaching them and dressing them. And that is the, the reality of Sayyidina Mahdi that wants this perfection and this character and asking to see ourselves in those lights and tonight the, the night the meditation is to see us in their circle. That at the center of that circle you don't have to look for a face but look for a red turban. And they're all around that circle are all turbans and ask Allah Ya Rabbi by the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad keep my soul in their association. As they gather at the maqam of Sultanul Awliya and Shaykh Abdul Faiz Daghestani and that all those turbans are there and that I'm no one 
But Ya Rabbi let me to, to be in that presence and at the Qibla and the head of that is a red turban with the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi and let my character to be good, let my love to be sincere and to dress me from their fires and allow me to be in the association with ishq and muhabbat. And you keep that under your nazar, keep that under your, your meditation and keep that into your consciousness through the khatam, through the prayers tonight and through your meditations tonight and to be in His presence with good character and love inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa From the chair of authority topic, Satan and Nafs are partners. What about the jinn that is possessing some people? Can it be controlled by Satan or partner with him? Yeah, that's the one that's working with the Nafs and Shaitan. That is, the Kareen is the Shaitan. Because the big shaitan would have obliterated you, so that's not happening. But everybody is given a nefarious jinn that attaches himself to your being. This is the way Allah sent it, that was in the talks of the regulator. Otherwise you would have 90 trillion volts of energy like superhero television shows, you, you would be zapping people left and right. But Allah said, before you can get to that phase you first have to prove that you're worthy of that energy. And the ones whom Allah wants to open that reality, they become enlisted and enrolled within the tariqahs, right? So you've been called into His Majesty's service. As soon as you've been guided into the tariqahs, born into the tariqahs, Allah is giving you an opportunity to reach towards your energy. Because only their teaching will teach you how to conquer this kareen, how to bring your, mad your madad and your energy. And that that shaitan is making a partnership with your nafs and don't keep listening to it because then they're becoming stronger, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam which way is better during the month of Ramadan? Should we invite people to break their fast at home or should, should we distribute iftari outside? Sorry for my bad adab. Whatever is best. For the people if you can distribute who don't have iftar then far superior is to get your money and give it to the families that don't have money to break fast. How sad that must be for people whom don't have the ability to break fast and their Ramadan is a perpetual Ramadan. So that's that's the reason why before Ramadan started we gave out, you know, uh, for each hundred family 30 day supply, that's 3000 iftars and then we did that in Pakistan and India. Anywhere you can go, we did also in Los Angeles to the local masjid there, we did in Chicago. Anywhere you can go to give out to people less fortunate so that their Ramadan can be much more beneficial and that they feel the gratefulness that Allah is sending to them is fantastic. So that's most superior. Then feeding yourself and other wealthy families, that's okay. So that has its place as keeping familiar ties but it's not the same as giving to people who don't have and they don't have the ability to break, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Ya Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah <laughs> Can we serve humanity in other organizations, places with our Fatima Zara Helping Hand t-shirts, for example like the Gurdwara? Like Gurdwara? <laughs> Temples, churches, Gurdwaras, Sikh temple. It's best to, to, to not mix the two, means take your, your Fatima Zahra and go help uh, people on the street. Don't mix the two, you confuse people, what, what are you doing there? 
and you confuse what your actions are. If they're in need of something and you're going to give a supply, alhamdulillah. But you showing up to their events and your 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 protocol, they're, they're not too interested in you doing that. So best to keep the way sort of clean and understanding of what you want to do. Like meditation, no difference. You say that, I, I know some Reiki, can I meditate and do some Reiki meditation too? No, don't mix the two. The take the path and do the process that you're supposed to do. Don't have to keep trying to modify everything. There are a lot of emails, instead of this can I recite that? This is the nafs, always wants to take something and make it its own. So there's a thousand year tradition and the nafs wants to make it today's my tradition now. Because once you change it, you now attach something of yourself to it that this now you did. So best to keep the system. So when you're going to put the Fatima Zara, your intention is to propagate the shaykh's teachings and for the love of our shaykhs we want to go out and feed people. So when there's a hungry person and they just see you in front of them, they understood that you and your shaykhs just gave me this food then the mission was accomplished. But you sort of mix yourself, it doesn't matter with Gujrata or, or other relief agencies, why are you there? We're not mixing, they, they can do their own thing, we do our own thing. And competition in religion is encouraged by Prophet Compete. So when people are doing good, go out and do better. We don't have to homogenize ourselves all into one group because we want to promote our tariqah, our shaykhs, our belief system, our Ahlul Bayt, our Sahabi, all of their birthdays, all of their celebrations. So we're on a mission to put our faith in action. And everyone else is on their mission with their objectives, with more power to them, let's see who does better. But don't mix all of them, inshaAllah. Uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Is reciting a small durood sharif in high quantity important or reciting different durood sharifs in limited quantities? Yeah, I don't know what this is. A, you can do in any quantity you want and depends upon what's your intention. If the Durud Sharif is to bring an energy and a power and to enter into meditation, it becomes a repeated action which almost becomes uh, hypnotic for you. So without even a thought you can close your eyes and keep saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa salli wa salli wa barak ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa Sayyidina Muhammad. It becomes very repetitive, very meditative because you're now just going on autopilot. So that has its energy and its understanding and breathing. Then you want the barakah of the different salawats and each one is worth a hundred thousand, fifty thousand blessings, ten thousand, that's something different. Then you spend a, an hour to sit down and open the salawat books. I think Mawlana has a book on the pearls of salawat that describe all of the different salawats and we have it on the app, just a sample of some of them that this salawat is worth a hundred thousand salawat, this worth is fifty thousand salawat. But that's not going to be that meditative unless your hips and you've memorized them all. But for the one whom is trying to accomplish like a meditative connection and energy that has its reality and the one whom is trying to recite the different salawats for the tajallis and the different blessings that they bring, alhamdulillah that's something different. Some they recite salawat al-nariyah for 4,444 times. So that's an effort, they have to recite it, they do it. So these are the different sort of realities of tariqah. Well, you're free to do whatever one you want but if you want to enter the meditative state then you do the one that is most familiar to you, connecting your heart with Prophet and virtually going autopilot to where you don't even need the tasbih but you can do it khafi through your heart and connecting. That way you're not even moving and your heart is beginning to make the salawat without you, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Is the red color only for Imam Mahdi alayhi salam? 
Should we have any red clothing or should we stick to green? No, you can be like Ridwan and have his red suit. Yes, it's very good. Red is good, red clothing is good, the red turbans are good. And it, it has its energy and it's a Mahdiyun dress and a, Imam Mahdi's uh, energy and, and dress upon red. So it has its own reality. The green has its uh, reality and uh, blessings for, for resurrection and revival. So it has its dress and its blessing on important nights of uh, related to Sayyidina Mahdi is you can wear red. You can wear a red turban, I think Haji Masood has a purple red turban and Haji Ridwan is wearing his uh, red suit so it's very good. Haji Shahid has a purple too, yeah. Shama. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Shaykh Walaykum as salaam Will Imam Mahdi only come after six-seventh of all humanity has been wiped out? Yeah, a phrase th that way it sounds kind of depressing because <laughs> then you say, oh well, okay only four, four, four sevenths of humanity has been wiped out, now we're going to wait for another two sevenths, no. Yeah, we, we've described this many times that there's a, a spiritual event when you believe in what Allah wants you to believe and you put your faith in act, then that reality has already happened. The naysayers and bad-hearted people would take the words of awliya and try to use their limited brain capacity to understand their realities, to disprove. And the limited capacity of the head for the infinite capacity of the heart and soul are not two things that go together. When you take what Prophet brought believe in it, judgment day coming, but how do I prepare for that? Armageddon. Oh well Armageddon looks like it may be coming a lot sooner. Buy some gold, make sure you have food, all of what awliya have been teaching us. Why? That's faith and action, right? So the shaykhs come into your home, look you don't seem to have any food supplies here. So your faith will now be checked off in a different direction. You don't seem to have gold although he keep telling you to get gold and you keep procrastinating to get gold, you'll be checked off on the other side. At least get silver. <laughs> silver is spendable. You can take small denominations of silver and you can go out to the market and, and spend it. So you buy the silver, now your check mark is your faith is, is coming straight. You have your boots. Do you have some rugged pants for like hiking? Do you have a, a backpack for emergency supplies? Check, 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 check. You do your meditation, you make your connection. So it means that faith is not something you say, oh this between me and Allah. Those people take them off the sheet completely. That's not even in the game anymore. This is not between you and Allah. This is between the shaykh, you, Prophet awliya and Allah Most High because they've enrolled you into a school in which they're looking to see that you are listening, you're hearing the teaching and you're doing. As a result it will be checked off, checked off, checked off. So now your faith is, is now in action. So then that person has faith in iman. If they're listening and also how to connect then they're preparing, they're believing with all their heart, they put their money where their belief is, they prepared in their belief, they sit and they begin to meditate and contemplate and, and make their connection. What happens now? Uh oh, they begin to see things in their heart. They begin to see the realities, they begin to see the presence of the shaykh, they begin to have many khashb, many states of witnessing each to their different level and different level of belief.
and their spiritual strength. If done consistently these events have no time for Allah. The Creator has no stopwatch, there's no clock for Allah When He says Sayyidina Mahdi is coming, He is eternally and perpetually coming upon this earth. So that's a Mahdiin, a Mahdiin tajalli. Can you catch it? Yeah, if you do what we're saying and do the practices, most definitely. The Arafah of Hajj, Imam Mahdi must be present. Laylatul Mahdi, Sahabul Waqt must be present. All of these spiritual tajallis and all of these realities then that tajalli is consistently coming. Sayyidina Isa is coming in the Umayyad Masjid. Allah has no time, means that He is in a continuous tajalli upon this earth. His presence as a Rawza Sharif also because Prophet opened up a qabr for him and said that Sayyidina Isa is will be buried here, means He must be there. When you go for Umrah and for Hajj you have to give salams to Sayyidina Isa salam. He has a timeless reality that is always present because Allah has no time, the world of light has no time. So the world of light is everywhere, we're operating on a time dimension and, and we're calculating everything on a time. So imagine now I pass by Rosa Sharif. And I'm on a time and my mind is time oriented, I pass by and say, well you know things have happened and I go. But tariqah comes and teaches us, no we are not a time people, we're not a, at all a dunya people, we're a timeless people. And if you trained right, you read the book, you understand, no, no you're a timeless being in a time dimension. And as a result of your meditating and contemplating Every step you move is in a timeless reality. Timelessly Prophet is there, his holy companions are there, his beloved daughter is there, Sayyidatina Fatima Tizarah's arwa and Tajalli has been moved into Rosa Sharif. They had her at the thing but awliyaullah said that she's been moved to the presence of Prophet and Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa is there. And if you're timeless you're catching their tajalli, giving them salams and connecting with them. So we don't want to be dunya people, so that's you know that's the dunya mind wants everything based on a dunya time and a dunya clock. But timeless people they've entered into timeless reality. So when they say believe in these days, believe in this energy then they with Sayyidina Mahdi salam to become Mahdiyoon, why? Because if they know their name and know their presence in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi salam, what Allah dresses them? With a red light. If you studied the Lataif of the Qal, these shaykhs who reach to Mahdiyoon and they know their name in the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi salam means that they have a, a red tajalli from the dress of Imam Mahdi salam. And they have a Mahdiyoon dress of Imam Mahdi salam. And as a result you study the Lataifs and what does red mean in the Lataif of the Qalb? I won't tell you because next question is if you read the book ask me what the Lataif of the red means. Then you'll understand the, the Mahdiyoon dress. Similar to Sayyidina Umar Farooq salam. inshaAllah. Excuse me. <coughs> we talked about the companions also, that what they represented of the Sunnah, that's why we talked about tonight the importance of Imam al Hasan. That anyone 
clever enough will link Sifat al-Rahman, the reality of nur and the reality of Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam. If it dunya hasanat wa akhira hasanat wa kin adhab al-nar is that Allah wants for the believers to understand that ayat al kareem that when we want hasanat for dunya and hasanat for akhira is that we want to be with Imam al Hasan salam and the tajalli of Sifat al Rahman. That if you want to be true to the Sifat al Rahman, then you must be with the Qadim and the one whom is the servant of that name above the angels. When we said everything has a has a Qadim, right? Each huruf has a what is a Qadim in English? A master. A servant for that means the one whom serves the reality of that huruf. <clears throat> so from the angels there are the servants who serve that huruf then they serve the name above them Imam al-Hasan is a the servant from Allah's servants who serves that ismullah, that ismu, the attribute of Allah al-Rahman. So it means it's immense because these Adamic souls are above the angelic reality. This Muhammadan haqqaiq is above, the angels are created from the light of Sayyidina Muhammad at a lower level than the light and the arwah of the Ahlul Bayt inshaAllah. You can't compare the family of that light to the creatures created from that light of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen illa sharaf al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi wa sahbihi kiram wa alam shaykhina fi tariqat al nashbandiyat al aliyya Qasatan Ruhi Imam Tariqa, Qawt Khaliqa, Shah Nashba, Muhammad Dawi Sayyid Bukhari, Sultan Awliya Shaykh Abdul Faiz Dabastani, Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Shah Mkabani, Shaykh Atnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Mawlana Khaliq Al Khush Tawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad Al Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Tumma Sayyidina Baqa Sadi, Sayyidina Ummah, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam Al Hasan alayhi salam. Imam al Husayn as salam, Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari as salam, wa sa'ir wa sadatina wa siddiqina al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.